Sunday 21 has been terrific so far for you. So it's a beautiful Sunday morning and the weather is perfect for adventure. Guess what? I'm headed to the village of Paramen and we'll be trekking to Paragon Beach. So come live with me on my channel. We're gonna have fun and I'm gonna take you on an adventure. Road Bell Plain Estates. I'm checking some lovely views. Looks absolutely amazing. It looks like we're heading to a little cottage. So it's pretty cool because there's a lot of trees, so it's not like the sun is out but the trees is giving it a bit of shade so it's not that you know intense and the breeze coming off from the ocean gives it a really cool effect so it's not like you know so there's the ocean there and you're getting some lovely breeze and it's you know cool and nice sometimes it be freezing sometimes you need to wear a sweater you know wow look at the view absolutely gorgeous we're taking a left here at bell plain estate you can see the signs at the back of me we're taking a left and we're heading downwards now so it's a downward um trip from here So guys, we're here with Omar. Say hi, Omar. Hello. And um, what can you tell us about Paramen? And we're heading to Paragon Beach. What are some fun facts you could tell the viewers? Fun facts. Um, basically, this is one way to keep you away from the corona. <laughs> no crowd. No crowd. Very healthy up here. Yeah. Great atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, before this area is very known for where the French and the Spanish would have settled. Influence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you speak to the older heads, they would tell you that the fishermen and they would bring in a lot of goods as well. Sometimes from right there, Grenada, Spice Island. Yeah. Um, Legal they, goods though. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like um, nutmeg, all the spices and yeah. stuff like that. Because Grenada is known as the Spice Island. All right, it is. Yeah. They would bring it in by boat mm -hmm. and they would trek all the way up. To the main junction and then go down into Maraval to sell. Wow. Yeah. You'd have to have a lot of agility and stamina to do that. Yeah, well those days too they also had um donkeys and mules as well too. Right. You know, um a lot of these lands also a lot of cocoa estate. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing they would um take the cocoa, mm -hmm. pack it onto the mules and donkeys right. and go into the village and sell. When I say the village, mm -hmm. one part of Parman called Fatima Junction. Right. That's actually the main junction where today, well, we didn't have carnival this year, but normally it's the mm -hmm. centre where they would have the, uh, the Blue Devils. Blue Devils. Right. And I think if you have not witnessed the Blue Devils, I would definitely recommend to each and everyone who may li be listening to this mm -hmm. to experience it once in your life in Parame. You Have you experienced it? Yes, I have. Yeah. I have first hand. And, okay. Um, one tip is that they don't like people with white, wearing white, mm -hmm. and cameras. Okay. Because they tend to draw to you more. They would come up to you. Oh, okay. That would that come color. up to you as a dance. Yeah. And they're blowing fire and stuff like that. But of course, when white, you don't really want to get paint on your shirt. Right. So, so you have to okay, give them so money. Okay, so it's like they're intriguing them to dirty up, in other words. Yeah, but you have to give them money. Okay. 
Long ago, people used to throw coins on the street and they would dance and yeah. roll and pick it up. Now, there's so many bands that come out of the Blue Devil mm -hmm. in Parman that is a big competition. Mm -hmm. And I think I can, there's a big grand prize. So now they don't have time to stop to pick up the coins. They want dollars. Dollars, yeah. They want big money. Yeah, it's a really nice experience. experience yeah. Just being among the, um, the villagers in Paramin. It's very family oriented. Very Everyone family -oriented. is close knit. Um, sometimes you may not even know the people they may invite yeah. you inside to come and have a cup of coffee, coffee or something to eat. Yeah. You know. This is actually one of the main food baskets of the island. Mm -hmm. It's where you get all your local produce, um, like your local seasoning, your sai, your celery, cabbage, lettuce. You know, these guys, they plant, they grow everything on a hill. Yeah. And the land, the soil in Paramin is very rich, very fertile, you know. It's also home of Parang, I've heard. Parang. Yes. Yeah. Parang. So all the Christmas so, babies out there, the fanatics. Well, they do even have to be a Christmas baby yeah. to enjoy Parang. I think Parang should be played throughout oh, the yeah, year. Yeah. You know, and these guys, they do Parang very differently in Parang, where mm -hmm. they will go. There's a group will go house to house. Right. And sometimes you offer them something to drink or some coffee and then because they go in whole night. Whole know? night, yeah. And villagers will actually make little sandwiches and stuff for them, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep the vibes flowing, but... I mean, it's really something to experience in Paramen, mm -hmm. Parang. Parang. Yeah. So there, there goes again a lot of the Spanish influence. A lot of the Spanish influence. Yeah. Um, and they have their own language. Definitely. So when you see them on the streets, um, their greeting is... A lot of them, the older folks... Bonjour, speak, bonjour. Um, Patois, That's what you say? Patois, which is... Uh, Broken, broken French yeah. English and that would have been um, connected to the people who were settled within the area. Right. Parmen at one time was a very remote area mm -hmm. from Trinidad. That, when I yeah. say remote in terms of um, access. Access to uh, electricity and mm -hmm. water. It's only recent when I say recent, yeah. very recent very. where they actually got those commodities, you know? Yeah. But one of the nicest views you can get from there, overlooking the ocean, you know, the Gulf of Paria. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, you could have seen whales in that body of water. Wow. Yeah. What about dolphins? Yeah. Any luck? Yeah. I love dolphins, guys. Yeah. You could actually find them in Mockery. Yeah, really I've seen the them in Mockery. Actually, you can beautiful. Go and see them there. They're coming into the bay. Um, to feed. Yeah. So it was nice chatting with Omar. Thanks for all that insight. Anytime. Look at this turquoise water. Wow. Extremely captivating. This is Trinidad and Tobago. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're still heading down. We have about approximate I'd say about 20 minutes. 20 minutes down. It wasn't too bad. So catch you guys at the bottom. So guys, now we're gonna take a right onto Beach Road and we're heading down to the beach. Going down. Yeah. 